Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Zombieland Saga for Manga Entertainment UK and I've got to admit this is a really good series and I can't wait to talk about it. What is Zombieland Saga? Now this is a really weird one. It's all about a zombie pop idol group. A group of girls that have been killed over time have all been brought together turned into zombies and then get painted up to look like normal girls and then they go out and sing songs uh, to get uh, to save the Sega, uh, no, to save the Saga Land province. It's such a weird anime, and I'm so glad I watched it. Now, when I first kind of saw the kind of trailer and, and the information to zombies, like I generally thought that they would bite people, and maybe that might be a thing. Uh, but they're, they're pretty much, they're not even zombies. They're just referred to as zombies. They look like zombies. Body parts fall off but they don't bite people they don't have the hunger and that's that's pretty much it they all just sing and i'm i'm generally kind of impressed with it so the anime focuses on a main character called sakura and she is this young girl that you see at the very beginning of the anime and she's getting ready to join this pop idol group or send out her application for it but a big but as soon as she leaves the house she's hit by a truck which we see much later on in this anime wakes up 10 years later finds out that she's a zombie she gets shot in the chest she then finds out this manager who is pretty much really cool one of my favorite characters and he introduces her to a different amount of girls Asaki, a junko yuguri lily and tei and i gotta admit tei is a great character i generally thought that at the very end of this anime she may wake up and become like be able to speak but i don't think you'll see this until maybe season two if they decide to make a season two my all-time favorite character in this though is uh kotaro i think is the name is uh, Kotaru and he is the manager and you kind of think that you know maybe he may be a bit sympathetic but he goes crazy on a lot of stuff like screams in their faces um, like kind of pushes them to become better gives some wholesome advice but it's just the way that he is is just really kind of different towards normal managers so I when I kind of first saw this and I kind of looked into it I thought that it was going to be just one particular music genre and they kind of do that near the very end uh, which is just normal pop idol stuff but they go through uh, metal they go through rap music then obviously they settle on the kind of more uh, pop music which I generally would have loved them to have loads of different things out of all of this the rap battle music is possibly really, really cool. And I think my only favorite part of it is when it, it, when the um, one of the girls is just playing like the kind of like guitar, but it's like not a guitar, but it's kind of like a, an old uh, instrument in Japan. I actually just really love the whole the way it works in it. It works like pretty well. Now, I can't, the one thing that does frustrate me is through this entire whole like series is you don't know why they are zombies or how they got turned into zombies that to me is kind of like huh um but i would have loved them to like explain it a little bit better they kind of do at the very beginning but again you're like huh uh it just doesn't kind of really work uh so yeah that i generally thought was kind of frustrating but maybe in the next series uh, or in the manga they do, if they do explain how they were turned into zombies, let me know down below in the comments. So let's talk about my thoughts on all of this. First off, I didn't think that I would enjoy this anime. I saw the, maybe the first episode or first couple of episodes and I just couldn't get into it. I thought, eh, you know, it, it's a music anime. I don't think it was dubbed at the time when I started watching it. So I kind of just kind of fell off the radar and was like, oh, I'll wait till a few more episodes and I'll kind of like get back into it but I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing that. The reason why this like this kind of held my attention a lot because I wanted to see if they were going to progress, if they were going to save this uh, Saga land province, if they were going to do everything um, or if they were going to fail and they get kind of like killed off but it held my attention quite a bit. I think that's just the way that the characters were, the way that they interacted with each other. I think that kind of made it for me. I do think that they didn't really need to hide the fact that they were zombies. It just feels like it was a kind of a pointless thing because they could have said hey this is our thing you know we're cosplaying as zombies and I think people have been kind of dig it and I but then kind of thinking about now before I wrote this 
uh, maybe that's it. Maybe they wanted to have the, the cute style, obviously the, the kind of makeup on them all the time. So maybe that was a thing, but if they were zombies and they kind of did that, then they could have been metal pop idols um, or something like that, or metal idols mainly. That I think would have been cool. It felt at times that they didn't really kind of need to like, hide the fact that they were zombies. To me, the animation was smooth. I really enjoyed the animation a lot. The only thing that I didn't like uh, was the 3D models that they put in. It just felt really weird. You see it quite a few times. Uh, it just, I think, didn't really need to be in. They could have animated. Um, kudos for them trying something different, but to me, I just couldn't really get into it. And I thought it was a very kind of a meh thing. Now the music, I really enjoyed the different types of music that they had. One where you had, uh, it was just very kind of traditional, then you had rap you had rock music where they just screamed. Um, I loved the music in the intro. It felt it fit the anime perfectly. Uh, the different styles of drawing. I loved the Sentai reference that's in there. Perfect. I generally forgot all about it. I was like, oh yeah, there's Sentai, you know, where they do the poses, they're their own versions. I love that sort of reference in it. Um, I, just the way the music was, the uh, the narration saying like, you know, that their dreams will become reality. They didn't die. They died and they were born. I really enjoyed the whole narration for it. And I think it's in possibly one of my top five anime openings. One thing I noticed is that they sang in English and you don't really normally see this anymore. So when you watch like these sorts of like pop idol things, like they'll speak in English of a certain part, but then the characters, when it comes up to a musical part, stops it then becomes japanese um i it, either it, it's because it's a lot easier for this uh but i generally really like the fact that they sang in english at times will say it didn't really kind of fit um it just felt out of tune like they were trying to force it but majority i enjoyed listening to the music i think possibly the best one um which halfway through was perfect was it when they were starting to rap um, I generally was, I, I listened to it a few times, I listened to it, I think the Japanese one is a lot better, but I really like the fact that they actually put it into the English one. Um, it kind of really kind of like suited. I think later on when um, uh, Sakura just literally starts singing quite quickly, it didn't fit in, it kind of pulled you away from it, but for most of the part, I absolutely adored it. I thought it was a, a a really interesting way because I thought they were going down the metal route at first because most of the tone is metal at times but this was perfect and I genuinely think it's like one of the best things I've seen in anime for quite some time with idols and stuff. I found the writing really interesting mainly because all the characters were written really well there didn't seem to be a part where I was bored with any of the writing not that I can remember at the moment. I like the fact that some of the characters you saw what it was like in their life before, how it all kind of worked, um, especially with one of the girls, which I think is Sake, who used to be a biker gang member, like the kind of boss, and you found out that what how she died and how her friend kind of took it so hard, but then you saw how her daughter, not Saki's daughter, but her friend's daughter wanted to be the same and then literally had a go at a mum for not being straightforward or something like that, always being kind of like soft. But when you saw her mum step up to the plate and then see Saki later on, you kind of think they would have gone, oh yeah, that's you. But I love the way that it all kind of worked out and it added that more depth to it, I think, that actually made this anime more interesting to at least me. Um, and I'm hoping it does to you guys. If it did, let me know down below in the comments. The writing was really interesting to me because it felt like they went after all the characters either on their own or they would tell certain stories. Some of the girls' background was absolutely fantastic. It's mainly like Saki where she, you saw the background story where she used to be in a bike gang and obviously like the kind of like troubles that would bring. The only thing I would say that I did get bored on was when Sakura got her memories back. Uh, it felt like she went into like this depressive mode quite quickly, even though all her friends were there to kind of support her and say, hey, like, you know, we're going to like build you up, etc., etc. But I just generally thought that was the most boring part. That could have been like much earlier on in the anime compared to where it was near the end. You were kind of like, eh. Um, I did really like like the promotional stuff, like the chicken thing. I think that was quite fun, especially also the 
like the obstacle course with I found these sorts of stories really kind of funny and also kind of like like yeah like I could see idols actually doing this if they wanted to get kind of further on it, it was just something fun that they threw in there. One of the second moments is Sakura and the manager and it felt like the manager was in love with her to some degree and you get this kind of flashback to where they were Oh, was that, that they were in school together so obviously either he was a zombie himself or he was able to kind of go oh well I know what you were like in school you just don't remember me and you kind of think that when she gets her memory back he she would remember him in that way but in this one it, you know it was just the connection that they had that really kind of stood out to me which I think was really interesting uh, and I really want them to kind of explore that in the next series um, or maybe they do it in the manga. Again, if you know, let me know down below in the comments. So my final thoughts, this anime is fantastic. I enjoyed every moment of it. Um, I kind of really wish that I watched it from the very beginning when it first released rather than kind of wait until now. But I'm so glad that I was able to watch it in English because I found it really enjoyable. All the characters were fun. They had everything going for them. And I thought it was generally just a, a great thing that they were doing. I thought that the kind of the elements of different people from different times that worked really, really well. And there was just so much to this. The animation style was great. The way that the story progressed, the manager, the characters, all this was a great anime to me and I absolutely loved it. And I really, really want to see the second season, so I'm hoping that it will come out very, very soon or it's already in the works. But it is a wholeheartedly one that I'd recommend. Link is going to be in the description to where you can buy this um, and I, I definitely recommend it. If you're in, the, like, it's real weird because the other idol group that I thought was was school live and it's just zombies all the way through so maybe i prefer the zombie kind of idol thing um, or just zombies in anime in general but yeah wholeheartedly really enjoyed this i think you guys will as well so ranger nation let me know down below in the comments what you think about this do you like the anime have you seen it have you watched it let me know down below in the comments if you've liked this sort of video then hit that like button hit the subscribe button as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop and of course ranger nation thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video